so um hello everyone and welcome to this new video um after the tree index we did last week and we published last week um, about creating a text-to-speech synthesizer with flask today we are doing the last video of the series and um, we will be publishing the app online so we'll be dockerizing the app and publishing it uh, on the server so anyone can have access to it so let's get started so this is where we um, stopped the last time, the server, everything was running. Let's try again to see if uh, everything is good. New terminal, python man.py. Oh, Marta. Downloading the model. Okay, great. Let's visit the uh, local host. Perfect. So everything is good here. Um, what we need to add here is in this uh, Marta folder. I think it's, yeah, in this Marta folder is a Docker file. Yeah. And in this Docker, we will uh, paste or write everything we need um, <coughs> to launch the complete application in a Docker container. So for that, um, I will not really go into details of every syntax I write. So, uh, but I, I will try to explain as much as I can. Yeah, first we have to define the basic package. It will be Python 3.9. Yes. Okay. And after that, uh, we need to define the work directory in our Docker container. So we will just work there. We can just define a random directory, let's say application, like app. And then uh, we need to um, copy the, because we have to first copy this env and copy this requirement. So we have to install all the package in the requirement first, and then just launching the app directly after that, like after copying the app um, folder and everything in the app folder. So let's start by um, running um, copy. And then we copy the requirement. Requirements, the texting into um, app that requirement section. Okay, we do the same for the dot .env, copy dot .env into app dot .env. And then we have to install all the package that uh, we need. And for that, we just have to run. I think mean, it's a simple command, we just type run. It's the same command that we can type here if we want to install everything. It's just uh, clear up. It's just pipe install requirement.txt. So we just do the same thing here. Pipe install error. Um, it's in up requirements.txt. Okay. And then we copy everything in up. Yes, and uh, after that, all we have to do is to define an entry point, and um, <coughs> uh, our entry point will be Python entry point Python. Yeah, Python will be available because we the basic image is the Python three point nine, and then you just cmd uh, cmd instead main.py yeah perfect great we save this uh we do a docker build um charity for the name we can call it the uh, marta up and we just specify it's the actual folder um error response to file copy every at least to argument ah okay sure we copy everything here and we send it so we can test it by typing um, docker um, build charity for the name Martha and then the directory the actual directory uh, it will take time to download the basic uh, the base image and then all the packages
Oh, let's check what the error is. Here, um, Okay, try it again. A few moments later Let's try it again. I think the problem is this dot here. I try it again, um build it again and run it again. Yeah, send file not found. Okay, mm. Uh, yes, um, the library needs this package, and I think this package is a native um, uh, Linux package that we have to install. Um, okay, let's install it. Um, let me check the package of the name of this package online. Uh, yes, send file. Okay, let's change file. Yes. So we just have to type here um, run. We have to first do apt uh, update and then run uh, apt get install the package name. This package. Oh, yes, we have to accept everything. Uh, paste it. Okay. And then we build it again. Ah, yeah, it's uh, one, one. Oh, sorry. So, build it again. Yes. Great. A few minutes later. Okay, and then we run it again. Oh, yeah, I forgot to specify the port. Great, it tested. Perfect. So the first step is over. Um, we will um, just deploy this uh, application online. And for that, we need uh, several packages. Um, we first need, um, I mean, my stack, actually, when I deploy something on VPS, I need partner. Um, to manage the um, dockers uh, containers, I need a uh, nginx proxy manager to define the domains, um, the SSL certificates, and everything. So uh, in this video, I will just um, use those two tools. But uh, if you need more um, tutorials about those two, I, I can put them down in the just ask in the comment. I'll just send it in the comments also. So uh, let's start by publishing this online on GitHub. Uh, we'll quickly create a project in GitHub.
and then paste okay and do a git push or git commit first Perfect, so we have it in GitHub. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I quickly connect to the server. Let's go in the, I think it's public. And let's create a new repository called um, Marta. I don't need that. I just need a good pool, a git clone. Okay, great. And we just need to go into Marta. And here we have uh, everything. So we can do the same step uh, by um, <coughs> building the Docker by typing this Docker build. Try it in Marta. Um, this I will wait for it. You will have to download everything, it will take time. Yes, so in the meantime, we can just come here. Um, I will just log in into my node package manager, mm, a proxy, call it Marta, regularize.ai. We need to edit our Docker file and expose the port. So guys, this is the final result. You can type a text and check. Oh no way! I will be validating this anymore. Um, no more bots. bots here. Okay. Write your text below and click on Get Audio from Text. 
generate text for an infinite amount of text with no limit. Perfect. So let's download the file. Play it. Write your text below and click on Get Audio from Text. Generate text for an infinite amount of text with no limit. Okay, so that's it. I will put the link in the description so you can play with it. And you have the code in GitHub also. I will put the link of the code in the description. And um, yeah, so um, you can uh, contribute, add more stuff, and just um, <coughs> uh, create a pull request. I will merge it and publish it online. So, bye and see you in the next video. Ciao.